Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. Let's go. Not the Kenny I know in there. I thought I could save him. are saying you're gonna be fine. I can't make it without you. I'll have to let her go. I'm sorry. I love you. Kenny! Damn it, man! Come on! No right, Clementine. No fucking right! Anything? 
there. Damn it! Go back! Go back! Jane! Jane! Thank God. Stop. Relax. You need to walk slowly. You'll be fine. I can't do this. To help us. We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just help us. You guys are fine. Just go. You think we should spread out? We'll spread out. I can't run with the baby on my own. I'm... I said walk slow. You run, you die. Push through that cluster of walkers. There's so many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just what we need. Okay, just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. If you fall behind, I can't come back for you. Everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. 
Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Yeah? And? And we'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it. Right? Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well... Besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... he's not thinking straight. Somebody's gotta do something. We can't just keep sitting here forever. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. I'm just worried about worried, you. Worried, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. Why are you acting this way? Take one wild guess, Clementine. I did what I thought was right. It was all I could do. All you could do? Because of you, Sarita is dead. And you're telling me you did all you could do. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! For the last time, just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. 
It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? It doesn't matter. We need to come up with a plan. Clem's a rat. Especially with that baby on the way. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. Turning on you. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's... situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. How can you get along without trusting anyone? That's exactly how I get along. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've... What happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is... well... it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad. But... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. 
It was that nobody knew us there, and I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters, just friends. <clears throat> Jackpot. 